Yo, hey, hello guys, what's up? How are you guys doing? It's been been a while since I uploaded an actual video. We're back to YouTube, we're back to the grind. We're back to videos, we're back to posting every week. We're back to vlogging, we're back to all that. We are back. I'm just gonna start this off with an updated 2023 fragrance collection video because I've done two other parts on these in a separate series a long time ago on my YouTube. I have part one and part two, this is part three. So let's get into it. Right here I have a lavender based scent. I'm not really, is this is like lavender water. I'm not really sure what this is used for. Anyway, moving on. Here we have a travel spray. No, no, no. Um. Here we have a pocket atomizer of Creed Aventus. Creed Aventus, no explanation there. Super popular fragrance. Everyone knows that fragrance. Here we have a room spray. Smells like patchouli and sweet grass. Smells like how fresh cut spring grass would smell. Mixed with water, I guess. Here we have this cologne sample right here. By Goodfellow. We have Black Sage and Tonka. I, tonka Bean, that is. I really enjoy this scent. It's a nice scent. And here we have Godfellow. We have our second clone in their series. Wait. Uh, excuse me, guys, for the terrible quality. I'm just waiting for that to focus. My bad, guys. Just bear with me. Please bear with me. There we go. We have juniper and sandalwood here. Here we have this room spray. This is like a very sweet smelling room spray. This this smells kind of like orange peels and sugar and a lot of other stuff. Here we have another room spray right here, this one. This smells kind of like how a Christmas tree would smell. These are room sprays, not colognes, by the way. And here we have another room spray in the back, just chilling here. We have this lavender vanilla room spray. Oh, whoops, 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 whoops. Oh, we dropping everything here. <laughs> All right, never mind. <laughs> Moving on. Moving on, we have another patchouli sweet grass. I already showed you this. Here we have an aftershave right here. This is, this smells like very fresh, clean. It smells like water. Here we have story of a brand black. I'll show you a bottle of this later. I have two of these. This is a brand new one boxed up. Here I've just got this like roll on. I purchased this at a store. This is a musk scented roll on. Here we have blend effect spray, room spray, blah, 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 all that stuff, you know. I have another roll on here. Here, oops. Here we have Polo, Polo Club Rogue is a classic, very piney, fresh smelling green scent, absolute classic, you cannot go wrong with that. Here we have another Blunt Effects, and here we have Aftershave, Brooks Brothers Aftershave to be exact. Here we have Stetson Black Aftershave, yeah. Stetson, if you guys know the company Stetson, you know, you know what they're about, pretty much. Here we have Armani Code. I already used all of it. Eh, almost all of it. I have a little bit left. This is a tester. This wasn't an official one. Very nice, fresh scent. I wore this a lot in 2016 spring. Let me not drop this. <laughs> Oops, I have this Blackberry Apricot face wash as well. I, I, uh, yeah. Unlike fragrances, I have a lot of other cosmetics as well. So just yeah. Here's Dior Fahrenheit. 
Here is Perry Ellis 360, this mini cologne right here. Here's Calvin Klein 1. And here is Prada. <clears throat> Here's his Prada cologne, just as Prada. Uh, I'm not sure, not sure of the name of this scent, but it's a Prada. It's a Prada scent. And in between here, chilling behind, chilling behind this touch of love, this is straight patchouli. It's like strictly patchouli, very floral. Here we have CK. We have Calvin Klein, original. Here we have Ralph Lauren, aftershave. Very nice bottle, very nice. Bottle is very nice. And, whoops. Ugh, dropping everything. Dropping everything now. <laughs> I have, yeah, no. I have, so, I'm not going to go into all of these colognes because it'll take way too long of a video. So I'm just going to, going to just go across here. Just going to do a quick sweep. Here we have some lotion, rose water, aftershave, you know, just regular stuff. Here we have some YSL scents. We have YSL Porom, YSL Coors, Aftershave, and YSL Eau de Toilette Spray, the original. Here we have Golf Club Paris shown in the back. Very nice green, fresh, grassy, masculine scent, if I were to describe it. Here we have Sir. This is just called Sir. Sir. Yeah. Here's Yves Saint Laurent. Here's another Yves Saint Laurent aftershave that I used. This Yves Saint Laurent Pour Homme. Very nice scent. Here we have L'Homme Ideal by Guerlain. This is an almond based scent. It has almond. There's tonka bean in here. I forgot the other notes. Just bear with me, my bad. Here we have Story of a Brand New Black. The cologne that's right here, as I said. This smells very metallic, smells similar to Mankind by Kenneth Cole, which we'll get to later, which is sneak peek, which is right here. Here we have GLG 919. Uh, this is a very fresh scent. I picked this up for a dollar at a dollar store a long time ago. Very cheap scent, but good scent. I had two of these, but I broke one of them. Here's... Antonio Bendros, The Golden Secret. This is a very sweet fragrance. Just bear with me. I'm not the best at names. I'm just trying to pronounce them the best I can. Here we have Trussardi, Black Extreme. This smells kind of similar to this in a way, but this is more, more this is more like elegant and more masculine, more upscaled. Here we have Jaguar Classic Amber. This is this is Mm. I'm not really sure how to describe this scent. Um, if I were to, though, it's extremely sweet. It's a very sweet scent, but not in, like, a floral way. It's very sweet in, like, an amber way. Here we have Amor Ravan Porom. Um, this smells very powdery. It kind of smells like baby powder in a way, but not really. Here we have The Weekend by Burberry. Classic. This is a very tropical fragrance. I could see myself wearing this on a tropical island. Just soaking up the sun with the palm trees. This smells like pineapple. It smells very fresh, very floral, very nice scent. Here we have Commodity Wool. This smells like... I don't know how this smells. This smells kind of like how... Like... Wool feathers, kind of. It's just kind of smells like coal a little bit. It has this kind of like burnt note in it. I'm really not sure how to describe this scent. Moving on. Here we have a classic Victor and Rolf Spice Bomb. No, no explanation needed there. Sadly, my collection is collecting dust. I should dust off my bottles more, but eh. I don't really do that. Anyway, 
Moving on. We have here we have Conan Nordic Elements Air. This is a very fresh fragrance. Very nice. I'd wear this during the summertime. I'm not sure how to describe the scent though. And behind it we have Salvatore Ferragamo F brand, F brand Black. This smells very spicy, very peppery. It's good for more of an upscale occasion. It smells kind of like this in a way. This is kind of like a more renowned, toned down version of this in a way. Yes. It's a very aquatic scent. Okay, moving on. Here we have Nature's Harmony and Well-Being of Veda Verde. This is a vetiver-based scent. Very green, grassy, fresh-smelling scent. This, this real. I was talking about that fragrance back, back then a couple minutes ago that smelled like grass. Now this really smells like fresh-cut grass. Here we have two bottles of Aqua de Silva Cologne. Um, this is a very minty fragrance. Very mint-based fragrance. Here we have... Isenza, is, Isenza di Zegna. Uh, sorry, I'm, I don't know how to describe that scent. Here we have Roger and Jalette. This is called, this is Roger and Jalette pour homme. Very nice fragrance. Here we have Lom No. This is not an interpretation of Lom by YSL. This is just a separate cologne in its own right. This smells kind of like how a traditional musky classic men's aftershave would smell. Here we have Bergamot. This smells um, how Bergamot would smell like oranges, citrusy, sweet. Anyway, moving on. Moving on, here we have Cigar, the name is very small, I can't read that, sorry, just bear with me. This smells, how a cigar smells, it smells smoky. Here we have Givenchy Gentleman right here, and here we have Givenchy Sears, Kears, or however it's pronounced, I don't, not good with names, just bear with me please. Here we have English Leather. We have English leather cologne, and we have English leather aftershave here. And here we have Fan Fondi Fendi, original. Here we have Radir. This is a very sweet smelling fragrance. This smells kind of like how... I'm not sure how to describe it. It kind of smells like how this smells. It smells like... Sorry, I just don't know how to describe the scent. Just bear with me, please. Here we have Guest Seductive Pour Homme behind us. Right here. I wanted this scent for a long time. Finally got it a couple years back. Here we have Bad by Diesel. This is a very sweet smelling fragrance. Best if used in the winter and fall times along with this. This is very sweet as well. Here we have Bulgari Aqua Amara. And Polo Blue. This is Polo Blue Aftershave. And here we have Banana Republic. Slade. This smells kind of like how Polo Blue smells. But this is more like... This is more peppery and more fresh. This is more classy and formal, if I'd say. Here we have Polo Blue Aftershave. No, it's not the same thing as this. This is <clears throat> this is a spray, and this is an after this is an aftershave. Here we have Arabian Oud Nawaf by the by the great company Arabian Oud. They have a boutique in New York. That's where I picked this up. Here we have two niche fragrances. Now, niche fragrances are separate from designer fragrances, like Christian Dior Sauvage and Paco Rabanne Invictus and all the other designer fragrances. We have in a separate category of niche fragrances. Niche fragrances are more up-class, more different. They use better notes. They don't use chemicals. They use natural... Na they use a lot... They use natural raw materials to make these fragrances. Here we have Atelier Cologne Orange Sanguine. This smells exactly how a fresh squeezed orange would smell. Yeah, if you know what that smells like, you know what this smells like. Here we have our second niche fragrance. 
Clean Rain Reserve Blend. This smells how it would smell on a rainy day. It sm This smells like rain and wet grass. This is how this would smell. It's very sweet and like watery. <sighs> Moving on. We have Paco Rabanne Invictus. No explanation needed. And for Christian Dior Sauvage, these two, I don't need to explain. Everybody knows these two fragrances. Here we have another Bulgari Aqua Amara. I have a lot of copy fragrances, a lot of two bottle, as I would say, not clones, two bottle, polo two bottle, see, one, two, I have a lot of similar fragrances. Moving on, we, this is, sh right here, this is Sean Jean 7am, this is a very piney based scent, nice scent, smell, this smells kind of like this smells kind of like, if I could find it, smells like this, Polo Club Rogue. Very piney, very like green, very grassy. And here, here we have Japur Home by Bouchard in Paris. This, this is a very, very sweet smelling fragrance. It kind of smells like baby powder and flowers and like musk. It's like musky in a way. I don't really, it's musky. Hard to describe this scent. Yeah, anyway, moving on. This is for men, surprisingly. This is pure lavender. This is 100% pure lavender spray. For s Now, florals are not only made for, for women in perfumes and colognes. They use floral notes in men's fragrances as well to add depth, to add a character of mystery into it. And, yeah. <clears throat> Moving on, we have Mont Blanc Legend. This is a classic. It smells metallic. It's, it's Mont Blanc Legend. There's no explanation needed. You all know this scent. This is a classic designer fragrance like Chris and Dior, Sauvage, and Paco Rabanne Invictus. And I've just got a second bottle, bigger bottle in the back, just chilling. <sighs> Getting into some Calvin Klein fragrances. Here we have Eternity Now by Calvin Klein. And here we have Obsession. For Men by Calvin Klein. These both are very too sweet smelling fragrances. Like they smell very sweet in a way. Here we have Yacht Man Chocolate. This smells exactly how chocolate would smell. It's crazy that they nailed that right on the head there with the chocolate. Here we have Ladour by, by <coughs> Estée Ladour. This is Beyond Paradise by Estée Lador. Just bear with me. My throat is scratchy. Here we have Hugo Boss Descent. Now, this is a classic Hugo Boss fragrance. I'm pretty sure everyone has smelled this. If not, this is a very sweet smelling fragrance. I got a very, 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 very big bottle of this. It's like a 6.7 ounce bottle. Very classy, very upscale, very nice smelling. And moving on. Okay, moving on down here. Um, here we have Kenneth Cole Black. No explanation needed. You all know Kenneth Cole. I don't have to describe this scent. A lot of people have this scent. It's a very popular scent. Here we have Jean de Estu's Asparagus Versage Aftershave. Uh... This smells very watery, very fresh, very aquatic, like the ocean. It smells like water, really. Here we have 4711 Neroli Portofino. We have two bottles of these. I used to have three bottles. I have this aftershave bottle here, and I have this spray bottle here. This smells like the ocean, really, kind of. Here we have Davidoff Cool Water, another very popular scent. It smells like water. It smells like aquatics. I I have a lot of aquatic smelling fresh fragrances. I like aquatic smelling fresh fragrances. <sighs> anyway, moving on. I have a lot of cool water, as you can see. I have one bottle there, one bottle there, one bottle there, one bottle there, <laughs> one bottle here. I have a lot of Davidoff Cool Water. Now, moving on next. Uh, this is Song by Home. This is Song Home by Alfredo Song. 
This is a very sweet smelling, classy upscale fragrance. Next, here we have Royal Pour Homme. Um, here, this is another very folio. This is a, this is another very sweet smelling fragrance. This smells very powdery, like extremely powdery. Here we have Poison for Men. This is a very cheap scent, like GLGLP. I picked this up at a dollar store for a dollar. Very cheap fragrances. This smells very sweet. It's, I have a lot of sweet smelling scents. Here we have. Oh my gosh, I'm tired. Here we have Michael Jordan Flight. This is another sweet scent. Obviously, made by the basketball player Michael Jordan. Here we have Alexis based fragrances, a car based fragrance. It's a very sweet smelling scent. Definitely wear this in the summertime. Now, here we have Falcon Mabel. Um, this kind of smells like how a barber shop would smell. Entering a barber shop, it smells very soapy. It smells like it smells like bubbles. It smells very clean and like soapy. Moving on, we have Jean Paul Gaultier Le Mal, classic fragrance. No explanation needed there. A lot of people see that in in um convenience stores and department stores. Here we have 007 Red. This is a very... This is a... Mm, if I were to describe this scent, it kind of smells like berries in a way. Like a sweet berries with like this... Uh, with like this... It has this like musk, musk nuance going on in the background. Here we have Randy Couture, Extreme Couture. This is a very citrus based fragrance. It's a citrus, very citrusy. Here we have Pasha de Cartier. There's no explanation needed for this. Here are the notes. Yeah, there's no explanation needed. A lot of people have that scent. It's a classic. Here we have La Vertible. By Cadentina Vetiver. This is my second based vetiver scent. Very. This is a very sweet, clean fret. Um, unlike this vetiver right here, this vetiver is very fresh and clean. It's not grassy and green and green and, and sweet like this one. This is more clean and fresh. Moving on, we have Ro Royal Copenhagen Viking. Um. I'm not sure how to describe that scent, really. I'm not sure how to describe a lot of my colognes. Anyway, here we have Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. We have Dolce & Gabbana The One Gray. This is different from the original Dolce & Gabbana The One. This is a flanker version from the original. This is an, this is an EDT, by the way. Or the, this is an EDT, by the way. Or the toilette. And moving on to our last fragrance, we have YSL Lanui de Lome. There's no explanation needed. I'm pretty sure everyone here knows of this scent. Such a classic. And moving on, here I have fragrance oils. These are perfume oils. I have chocolate espresso, I have juicy apricot, sun tuna orange, I have dark rich chocolate, almond, almond and dark rich chocolate are probably my favorite. Here I have Earl Grey tea, here I have golden embargo, sultry black jasmine, lavender, and I have peppermint, first distill. And then I have this room fragrance that I have a read in right now, but I have it closed to preserve the freshness. <sighs> okay. Oh, yeah, guys, I forgot to show you this as well. I love everything scented. I have a bunch of candles. Love candles. Love anything scent-based, scent, scent -based, really. And I have more, more essential oils and stuff here. Yeah, I'm a fragrance freak. 
Anyway, guys, um, yeah, so we're back to uploading. This is my updated video for 2023 part 3 fragrance video. Leave a comment down below what you guys want to see next. Like the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.